Hi kids. Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite fairy tales. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a clever young man named Cazzarella. Cazzarella worked for a magical company called Walt Disney Corporation. He worked very hard for the company and spent all of his time trying to please his boss, Michael Eisner, who also happened to be his evil stepfather. 798, 799, 800. Today's work, right, buddy? Cazzarella. Cazzarella! I need you to check on the animation department, come up with some movie ideas for adults, talk to Broadway, get Pixar on board, draft up that deal with Miramax. Uh, I need you to report back to me within the hour. And uh, most importantly, don't forget my non fat vanilla latte and no whip. You know I need to watch my health after that heart attack. Oh, my boss. Old Killjoy. I hear you. Come on, get going, you say. Time to start another day. He's always ordering me around. Well, there's one thing. He can't order me to stop dreaming. You see, kids, Eisner was the ruler of all of Disney, and he wanted all the power. Cazzarella desperately wanted to get promoted and one day help Eisner rule the company. But after the untimely death, of Eisner's friend and partner, Papa Wells, Cazzarella thought it would be his turn to take the throne. But Eisner, oh that Eisner, he wasn't so sure. He began to give Cazzarella false hope of being promoted and talked viciously about anyone who wanted to take away his power. The maliciousness towards Katzenberg only got worse when his evil stepbrothers, Roth and Litvak, talked to everybody at the company about him. And Eisner and Roth and Litvak tried to turn all of Disney against Katzarella. They spread awful stories about Katzarella around the company, and Katzarella was left with no hope of ever achieving success at Disney. Until one day, everything changed. We're all very sorry to hear about the death of our dear friend, Papa Wells. But in light of the situation, it's time to announce the next president of Disney. He's an art enthusiast. He wears glasses. He's shorter than me. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please. The next president of Disney is... Michael Eisen! Oh no, no, it isn't true. It's just no use, no use at all. I can't believe, not anymore. There's nothing left to believe in, nothing. Nothing, my dear? Oh, you can't mean that. Oh, but I do. Nonsense. If you didn't have faith, I wouldn't be here. And here I am. Why, you must be my fairy guest father. That's right, dear. I'm here to help. You've done so much for Disney, but Eisen never appreciates you. Say, you, me, and Spielberg should all start our own company, and we can be our own bosses. Why, it's like a dream. A wonderful dream come true. Yes, my child. But like all dreams, well, this can't last forever. You'll have only until 2004, and then you'll be on your own again. And in 2008, I too will be off on my own again. Oh, I understand, but it's more than I could have ever hoped for. Woo! What a story, ha! <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. Sort of. The end! See you next time, kitties. <laughs> Hakuna Matata! What a wonderful phrase! Hakuna Matata! Ain't no person craze. It means no worries for the rest.
rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. <laughs> I have three martinis before this taping. It means no worries. Buddy. Everyone's face me. It's our problem free. Philosophy. What? Nobody respects me!